You've been here before. We try our hardest to get those oil stains out, but they not only survived the wash, now they're set by going through the dryer. So today we're gonna try to get those stains out, namely this one, this one, and this one. And if you look very closely, I actually missed one. All right, I'll let you know where it is, right there. Yep, that guy. And if you look very closely, you can still see that he survived even after washing it for the second time. So hang tight, and we're gonna talk about how to get oil stains out of clothes even if you washed and dried them. So let's talk about what you'll need today. First, you will need baking soda. Doesn't matter what brand anyone will do. You will also need WD-40, a water dispersant, to revive the stain. You'll need your favorite dishwashing detergent, doesn't matter the brand, and make sure you have a piece of cardboard handy to put in between the front and the back of the shirt to protect it, a toothbrush, anyone will do, to make sure you don't use it afterwards, and Q-tips if you have extra small oil stains you don't want to spread everywhere. So now we're ready to begin. Grab your piece of cardboard and place it in between the front of the shirt and the back of the shirt or wherever you have your oil stains. And make sure you have your oil stains squarely over that piece of cardboard because this cardboard is going to prevent the WD-40 from sifting through to the back of the shirt. Now your can may or may not have the spray nozzle, but in case it does, make sure you look at the label and do not remove the straw or the nozzle. You don't want to do that. So in that case, you will spray a little bit of the WD-40 into a spoon and use a Q-tip to precisely put it on those oil stains. Now this can be a little tricky. You want to make sure you only spritz what you need. And I had a little snafu. I was not very careful and it actually spattered. But it's okay. We'll take care of that in the next step. Don't worry. You'll notice that the WD-40 spreads a little bit and that's okay. So here I put baking soda in a little ramekin to make it easier to spread it exactly where I need it to go without it going everywhere out of the box. So I just put it over all the WD-40 spots and make sure you cover them all and maybe push them in a little bit with the spoon. So now you're going to take your old toothbrush and brush in that baking soda into the WD-40. You see that right there, how it's already soaking up the baking soda? We're going to keep adding baking soda and we're gonna keep brushing it in. And the idea is that the baking soda is going to be bringing up not just the WD-40, but also the oil that the WD-40 is reviving underneath it. You see how it's already starting to come together right here? That's what we want to see. So we're going to keep brushing that in and keep adding baking soda over and over again until those clumps get bigger and bigger. And then once we're done, we can toss all of this used up baking soda for the next time. With the fine powder everywhere, it can be very easy to miss a little spot. So make sure you shake it off from time to time and see if there are any darker spots that need to have some more soda brushed in there. You're almost there. At this point, you can go ahead and remove the cardboard since it has already absorbed any oil that could have gone to the back of the shirt. And I like doing this in the beginning because really you don't want to have to do this on the back of the shirt a second time. So it's a time saver. At this point, you're going to toss all of this extra baking soda into the kitchen sink or your laundry sink, whichever one you have and then see which of the stains still need more baking soda. So I'll be right back. Okay, this is after dumping all of the excess baking soda into the sink and you're left with a circle here, here, 
and here and a little bit in here and that is where we sprayed our WD-40. So this is going to be the last round of putting baking soda into all these spots because I want to make sure that I'm not leaving behind any WD-40 and any of that old oil stain. And I'm going to brush it in and just make sure that all of it comes out. I'm not sure if it's easy for you to see here, but this baking soda here looks a little more clumped together than the one over here. So I'm going to keep moving this baking soda off to the side and just putting on more until I see that it's not clumping as much. And here we are. So this is the second time we've done the baking soda process. And I think at this point we are ready to move forward. I just thought I'd show you a little bit of what's happening behind. So this is why we want to make sure we put that cardboard in. And we are now ready for the dish detergent. Now it doesn't have to be done. It could be anything you have on hand, preferably something without any additional dyes to protect all of our hard work. And you're going to put a dollop of the dish detergent over each of the spots that we have been pre-treating and bring out your handy toothbrush once more. And we're going to brush that into the stain. And I like to let this sit for 15 minutes or so before popping it back into the wash. And that's it. That is all we need to do. And here we are. Finally, this t-shirt has no more oil stains. We are done, done, done. And maybe that one little spot that I forgot to treat there, but it's all done. It's finally done. I know that it was a process. Thank you for sticking in there with me. If you found this helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope that you have finally found the solution to get rid of all of those stubborn oil stains from clothes that you just ran through the dryer. So thanks again for tuning in and I'll catch you next time.